Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm excited to share with you my finale for my Pan That palette for 2023. So for this year I was working on three palettes and the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nir Norvina palette. I was going to say Nirvana. It's Norvina. And this was in collaboration with several ladies. We all we were all panning the same palette or another similar palette close to the Norvina. I was also doing the Better Together collaboration that Paula came up with, the theme. And for that, I'd rolled in the Viseart Midsummer palette. And the third palette I was working on is my Baby Panette palette. And I pulled in the Wet n Wild Quad in Petalette. So I'm going to share with you how things went and how things ended up for this finale. The first one we're going to start with is Norvina. And let me show you what my palette looked like last month. And I'm happy to say that I was able to finish all of the eyeshadows in this palette. I am so excited. I literally just finished this today. I'm filming this on December 30th. So it took me pretty much an entire year to finish this. The last shade I was working on was Summer. And I, I, I had a decent amount of this left today and I used it as a base. I did use it on my eyes today, but I used it as a base on my lid. And then whatever was left, I actually mixed with the blush that I used and I used it on my cheeks because I was like, it's got to go. It's got to go. So yes, it's finished. So basically what was left in this palette, and I'll try to put a little picture up in the corner of what this looked like last month. So I had a bunch of shadow left in shimmer. All of these were Frankens that were left. And I just, I used that pretty much all over my lid for the majority of like the last two weeks or so to get it finished. It took a while. This was the last shadow left in here. Previously, I had finished Dazzling as well as Rose Gold. Those were the two that had the least amount of shadow in terms of the shimmers. So I worked on those first and then I focused on what was left in the incense pan. I was using Summer with those, but Summer was the one that was left with like a large pan, but it still had a lot of shadow. And so I really focused on using it in every single look that I did. I was getting really tired of doing pretty much the same look. So I started doing some layering and that really helped me kind of get through it. In terms of the mattes, I had, or the matte, I, I had two matte shadows left in here. They were Franken's from Eccentric, which... I was not a fan of, and I honestly didn't think I was going to finish that shadow, but by frank frankening it, I was able to finish it. So that's what was left in this palette, and I did get it all done. Oh, I'm so excited. This is probably, I'm trying to think, the second palette I have, well, I've, I've called the, okay, second palette that I have 100% finished. I was working on a Kat Von D palette last year and I did frankening with that one, but there was some shadow left. This is 100% done, 100% done. The other one that I'd finished was the Lorac Pro 3, I think. Anyway, so excited. I did enjoy working on this one. Towards the end, I was getting really tired of kind of the similar looking shadows. Even though this is kind of thought of as a purple palette, it's not a purple palette at all. It's very much a neutral, leaning, warm palette. So that one's done. So excited. Moving on to the Viseart palette. Again, this was for the Better Together collaboration with Paula and a bunch of other people. So here's the palette. Let me show you what it looked like last month. All right, this is how my palette is looking now. So let's see, I was able to finish the matte shadow that was here. I did put this pan in my Norvina palette to help me like remember to use it. So I was able to finish that shade. I also was able to finish the Franken that was in this, this um, pan. This was originally Wild Child from the Norvina palette mixed with the shadow that's in this palette the shimmer shade that's left in that palette and I was able to finish it. Then I took what was in here in the wet and wild palette 
and I frankened it with a shadow that's in my Lorac Shine Bright palette. And I've been using that as my inner corner. I have it in my inner corner today. And I did have a full pan, but as you can see, I have a major pan in this one. It was originally covering the entire pan. So yeah, that is what's left in here. I also expanded the pan in this shade, uh, which I'm pretty happy about. I do eventually want to finish this, but it's not going to be a priority in terms of like rolling it into projects because I, of course, I'm going to start a brand new pan that palette. I may roll these shades in for like usage goals and that kind of thing because I do eventually want to finish this. Now this I will continue to use because it is a Franken and I do want to finish what's left in my Wet n Wild palette. So that will be something that I'll just add to my everyday magnetic palette that I have with all the single shadows that I'm working on and I'll continue to work on this and try to finish up the last shadow, the last amount of shadow that's left in my baby pan that palette. So let me show you what this is. This was the uh, Wet n Wild Petalette Quad. And really what was left in here, I had a giant pan in this shade, the shimmer shade, but there was shadow kind of up here. And so again, I took that, frankened it with more of a neutral, kind of mauve shade that's in well I wouldn't yeah it's a taupey shade it's a taupey shade that's in my Lorac Shine Bright palette so that is what that shade looks like on its own and then mixed with the shade from the Lorac palette this is what it looks like so that's pretty a pretty crummy swatch hold on all right hopefully you can see that it's definitely toned down the iciness of this shadow so I quite like that so I will franken the rest of this shadow and put it with that Lorac shadow in fact let me show you what that one looks like it is this shade here fizz so that's what I franken with it so I'll probably take half of what's left in this pan and franken it with what's left here and then continue to work on that as my inner corner shade until it's finished so I find this to be a very successful pan that palette. Before I leave you today, I am going to share with you some final weights. So the uh, Norvina palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette started out at 191.5 grams. The final weight now that there's no shadow left in here is 180.1. Now this palette says that it has... 0.71 grams each shade that comes to 9.95 total grams but what's actually in here or what was in mine is 11.4 grams so i finished 11.4 grams out of this palette the original shades i did also do a lot of frankening so there's additional shadow that i used up but i can't really tell you the final weight yeah i'm pretty happy with this Pretty happy with that. Now the Viseart palette, this one started out at eight grams. It's currently at 43.1 grams. So I have finished a total of 5.3 grams out of this palette. It does include this Franken, but that's not a lot of shadow. So I'm not really, it's probably not gonna contribute too much to the weight, but there is still a decent amount of shadow left in here. Now I barely use this one and I barely use that one so those are both pretty full pans and the wet and wild palette this one started out at 4.5 grams the weight of this now I'm sorry this started out at 23.3 grams it's currently at 18.5 so that means I've used a total of 4.8 grams which is overweight compared to what it originally said that it had in terms of weight and I still have a decent amount of shadow left in here so once this is all said and done uh, it'll probably be closer to like five grams of product in here Anyway, I am so excited with the progress I made on these palettes this year. I am excited also for my Pan That Palette next year, which I'm going to film right after this. So yeah, that is everything for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.